Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing Funko News Episode 10, Avengers Infinity War. This is just going to be news all about the Avengers Infinity War and the stuff that's coming up. I'm talking about plushes, daubs and Funko Pops. So anything Funko I'm going to be talking about that's going to be released for the Avengers Infinity War. There is some other stuff as well. So guys, let's waste no time and let's talk about the stuff that's coming for Avengers Infinity War. First thing we're getting this up on the screen now is an Avengers Iron Man, which is looking really cool. He's sort of hovering and um, he's got that a cannon out on his arm which is a really nice looking um, pop I really do like the look of that I like those bases that they're doing now where it looks like the pops are flying I think that's really cool and I think I'll definitely pick something like that up then we've got the Infinity War 4 pop which is holding like his new axe obviously now Mjolnir has gone he's going to have to have that axe and that doesn't look too bad I do like the look of that pop and I think it would be something I pick up I don't actually have a 4 pop for my collection so it's something I'd definitely think about we're also getting a Spider-Man Iron Spider costume Funko pop which is looking really cool I really do like the design of this outfit and I think the Iron Spider is really cool so I'm glad we're getting another variation of Spider-Man because a lot of people do collect the Funko Pops like all the Spider-Men so there's another variant for them to collect we're getting a plain old Captain America with no shield and um, it's just the Steve Rogers Captain America pop so it looks pretty basic to be honest and it's probably one that I would skip because there's better Captain America pops out there then we are getting my favorite one so far this Thanos pop when he's sort of clutching his fingers with the affinity gauntlet on i really do like that it's a really cool looking pop and that is something i'd definitely be interested in picking up we're getting a black widow pop here as well where she's now got blonde hair as you can see it's up on the screen now she's got blonde instead of the ginger hair she had before which is cool it's a nice touch and change of the character to sort of spice up action figures and pops so we get a whole different new looking uh, black widow so if you do need to pick up a black widow so if you do need a figure with her blonde as well as uh, red is something different from the previous previous Funko Pops we've had of the character. Then we're getting this, this is going to be hard to find I reckon, it's the 6 inch Hulk Buster. Now this is something I'll definitely be interested in picking up, it looks really cool, I really do like it, it's probably going to be massive, nice and heavy. I missed out on the last um, Hulk Buster because I think it was exclusive to a certain box you had to buy, but this is looking really cool, I really do like this, and then something I'll definitely be picking up along with that Thanos. And then we're getting a Corvus Goliath Pop, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but I'm not too sure this character, and I'm sure he's one of the uh, one of Thanos's like sort of minions from the comics and now he's making his debut in the MCU and we now we're getting a pop of him which is really really cool I really do like the design of this character with the red eyes I think it looks great and it's something I'd probably get as well then we're getting another one of his minions Ebony Moore which uh, again it looks really cool I don't know much about these characters but I'm sure they're going to play a big role in the film helping Thanos get all those gems for the Infinity Gauntlet which is really cool he does need to get all the stones and I'm sure these characters are going to play a big role in that and another one we We've got is Proxima Midnight. We know that we're getting a, um, a pop of Proxima Midnight because she's up on the screen now. She looks a really cool character. I think you can see a glimpse of her in the trailer if you have seen the new trailer for the film. And um, yeah, she looks really cool. Uh, she looks really cool and I just really can't wait to pick up all these pops. And, and no chases in this wave so far, but it's something really cool about the wave so far. I just really like it and I'm really hyped for this film. Then we're getting a teenage Groot with a gun. He just look never give a teenager a gun and definitely never give Groot a gun when he's a teenager because he just looks stroppy. He just looks stroppy as hell in this Funko Pop and he's holding the gun and I think that's a bad idea on the Guardian's behalf to give him that gun but we'll have to see how that plays out in the movie. We're getting a Funko Pop here, a Walgreens exclusive, Cole Ossadane. I'm sure I said that wrong again as well but he's a new character as well we're getting and it's a new pop but it does look really cool and it's something again it's going to be harder for us in the UK but I imagine we'll get it on forbiddenplanet.co.uk but Hopefully we do because that's something I'd really like to pick up. We are getting an Asia exclusive Glow in the Dark 4 which is also looking really cool. It's just basically his hammer and his eyes and the buttons on him are glow in the dark which is really great and it's exclusive to there. We're getting a Walmart exclusive Thanos. I can't tell if that Finity Gauntlet is on but he's definitely got some sort of magical mystical stuff going on around his hand when he's holding it out there. So that's going to be a Walmart exclusive. So um, that would be pretty cool as well. Then we're getting an FYE exclusive uh, Iron Man on Mars. Basically just a Tony Stark head. It's basically the same pop, but just an FYE exclusive uh, without the mask on it, which is pretty cool. Um, it's they didn't do a chase variant of it, but they've given it to FYE. Well, we're getting the Toys R Us Baby Groot, and he's playing like his Space Game Boy, but we are in the, we in the UK won't be getting that because Toys R Us has now shut down here in the UK. It has gone into administration. It's finished. Might be open for a few more days, but they definitely will not be getting any more Toys R Us exclusives for us over here. So hopefully other retailers will snap up these and um, share them out 
that. Hopefully Funker and Smiths, which is another huge toy uh, company in the UK, can make an agreement to do some exclusive Funko stuff for here in the UK instead of Toys R Us, which would be really cool. But that is a really cool pop as well. So two pops a group, which is really good. We're getting a Hot Topic Vision. It looks like he may be glittery. I can't tell really from the pictures you can see as well, or it might just be a standard uh, vision, but Anyway, it looks really cool. Vision's one of my favourite Avengers, one of my favourite characters in Marvel, and he looks really great in this pop form. Then we're getting a box lunch exclusive unmasked Spider-Man in the Iron Spider costume, which is really cool with the Tom Holland head on it. Peter Parker looks really good, and if you are a Spider-Man fan, it's another one for the collection. And then lastly, for Funko Pops, we're getting the Target exclusive six Thanos. It is a similar Thanos to the smaller one, but his fist is clenched closed, and he's wearing that Infinity Gauntlet. So that looks really cool. I really do like that, and that is something Thing that I hope we do get in the UK because that is a really cool big figure. That's a 10 inch figure so that's going to be huge and that's going to be really cool. I haven't got any 10 inch pops. I've seen the one of Groot but it's just a bit expensive but I would like to pay out for this Thanos maybe when it comes over to the UK. We are getting some Avengers Infinity War daubs as well. Not really a fan of daubs but I'll put pictures up on the screen now as I'm talking. We're getting a Iron Man, a Thor, a um, Spider... We're getting a Spider-Man, a Thanos, and then all those other minions of Thanos as well we're getting as well. So they look really cool too. And then we're getting some Funko keychains, pocket keychains. Uh, an Iron Man, a Spider-Man, a Thanos, and a Hulkbuster. And then we're getting some mystery minis as well. There's a whole load of characters there, um, including Black Panther and Doctor Strange. And uh, we're also getting some... And we're also getting some plushes as well, the Hulkbuster, Thanos, Crew, and Spider-Man. There's a lot of characters they've missed out, so they'll probably do a second wave. I understand why they're not giving us a Black Panther just yet, because we just had the Black Panther film and the Black Panther wave. But the rest of the Guardians are missing from this wave. We haven't got a um, Hawkeye pop. There's, there's a couple of characters that are missing, and that I would like to see get pops uh, in the next wave. So um, let me know what you think, guys, of these Avengers uh, Infinity War pops. I think they're great, and I can't wait to pick them up. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that like button and let me know if you enjoyed the news video. And um, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. It really does help me out. And thank you for if you do subscribe, guys. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links in the description below. I do post I do post regular pictures of things I do pick up and sometimes don't get onto the channel. So make sure you check that out. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.